down here on this bottom bar is where all your stuff is. There's my phaser I'm equipped with. Uh, you can fire the phaser by hitting that. This is the secondary uh, weapon phaser button. This is the palm, palm strike, basically. Just your hand. This is my neural blast that I told you about. This is where you resurrect people when they're dead. And this is your health um, hyposprays you can use to give you um, uh, hit points, health points. Um, up here is where I am. I'm in San Uh This is my health right here. My shield's 100 of 100. My health is 200 to 200. Um, this tells you, this menu right here tells you what's going on. Tutorial, prelude to a crisis. Move around. It wants me to move around and t <laughs> basically um, teach me how to move around in a game. This is where all your missions will be listed that you can bring up, and uh, by double clicking on it's all you gotta do. Uh, and you can read your missions in progress and um, hail Starfleet when one is done, or drop it if you need to, or share it if you're in a team. Um, and we'll go into that stuff later. Uh, this is your mini map right here. This shows you where I am, and you can zoom in and out on this map to see where you are on that level. This beams you up to your ship. This is the hail Starfleet button where you get your, all your missions from. Um, this is um, basically your to scan and see where to go. This is all the stuff. This little flashing thing is my mail. This is other, you know, uh, stuff you can get to, like your social, like all your friends and stuff like that. Um, this you can bring up for, it's got a built-in music player, a dilithium exchange, which is more advanced we'll talk about later, the C-Store, where you get all your C-Store purchases and stuff. Um, uh, if you hit M, this will be really useful. Hit M on the keyboard, and you got your map. Here's your area map. You can zoom in and out of where you are. Uh, this will help you find your waypoints and stuff. Galaxy map, if you click that, it's the whole map of the galaxy and how to get around in the galaxy. And uh, when you're in a, a sector block, you can click systems list and then go to whatever system you want. All right, so we're going to start out. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to minimize chat while this while we're doing this. This little icon here, if, if you click that, you can uh, you can totally resize the chat window and set it up as you need to or, or make it however big you want. Um, if I can grab a corner of it, and I'll show you. You're around the corner. Ah, whatever. It's hard to grab sometimes. Got to get it right in the right spot to grab this corner here. And I guess I can do it that way, but... Oh, whatever. We'll just minimize it. Alright, so... Okay. <clears throat> okay, yay, I moved around. Insane, get over here and give me a status report. And it's telling me that I can interact with people. I'm going to holster my weapon by clicking that button. Alright, now uh, you can zoom in and out on your character too. Oh look, who's that? Usually the people that you need to talk to have a little thingy hovering over their head, and this one does. Here he is. Uh, you can click on it with your mouse, or you can hit F, which is just an easy way to click on the button the same way. Click on the button, let's see. The Borg are attacking, and Captain Tagger needs all hands to battle stations. I need you to get to the bridge and help coordinate our efforts with the Captain. Roger. Let's click that, and it's going to tell me that waypoints, blah, blah, blah. I'll use the map. <clears throat> There's a little circle-y thing there that tells me where I need to go. And you can see it right here is the edge of the circle. So I just follow that. <laughs> And I'll head right here. Some doors will open if you approach her. Thank you. Really. Now I'm on this ship. Oh, attention. This is the captain speaking. All hands to battle stations. Repeat. All hands to battle stations. And, um... Uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, Taggart. Oh, that's funny. He's in Deus Ex. Um, okay. So we'll go through... You could actually go ahead and explore the ship before you even start where your, your mission or where you're supposed to go, and I kind of like that kind of free-roaming stuff where you get to go around in a game anywhere you want, and you're not confined to what we call uh, in the game industry as on the rails. Uh, a lot of games put you on the rails where you have to follow a certain path, and you can only go that path and nowhere else. This game has a lot of freedom in it. You can walk around anyway. Here's a sick bay. I'm supposed to take a turbo lift to the bridge, so we'll find that eventually. Let's see what else is around here. Here's, here's a weapons room. 
Look at all those weapons. I'll take all of them, please. Yay, we can play around. I like the lighting in here, by the way. You know, this is blue lighting here. This is really cool. It's a nice looking room. Yeah, good looking room. I'll take two, please. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll start talking about graphics now, too. You can see some of the some of the bloom here. The texture quality is pretty good in this game. A lot of specular lighting. Um, uh, check your mission tracker to determine your next move. Basically, that's this thing. Um, you got screen space ambient occlusion. You can see in use on the edges here where they're shadowing. It adds depth to the game. Yeah, and those are other players, by the way, like... Not him, but there are other players, or will be other players, uh, on this because this is basically an open map for new people playing. Turbo lift, yay! Plus F. Let's go to the turbo lift. Okay, so here we are. Turbo lift. Oh, here's the bridge. <clears throat> this has changed also. The first bridge that we started off at, in the originally in the tutorial, was really pretty crappy bridge. Um, but this one is much more detailed. This one's better, although a little large. Um, this is one thing you'll kind of see in the game. I, I look like uh, I'm a very small person compared like these. Look at this. I'm down here. Yeah, yes, I can touch this stuff. These displays are way up here. I mean, I'd have to like really turn my head upwards to see those displays. The ceiling's a little high. <laughs> the ceiling really needs to be brought down. All right, so there's a Borg ship out there. Let's talk to uh, Taggart, who again is in Deus Ex and has apparently made an appearance in Star Trek Online as a bumpy head alien. All right, good for you. All right, talk to Captain Taggart. Ensign, <laughs> Ensign, Ensign Ricky, you are just in time. The Borg are attacking Vega Colony. Our orders are to join the fleet that was fighting the Borg, but we may be too late. Yeah, we may be. Use one of the consoles to hail the USS Kittimer. Which is also the name of an STF in the game. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that FTF. Now we got to find this thing that it wants me to hail. And if you look, see, I was standing here, and how I knew where to turn was that this little thing here was uh, on, on my mini map. This little uh, circular thing. All I have to do is point toward it, and I can see. Um, yeah, it wants me to go here because there's apparently three double arrows bouncing up and down, saying go here, go here, go here go here. They didn't used to have that. That's new. Hail the Kittimer. Ensign Ricky did it, sir. We're getting... I know why, why I had to do it? I don't know. I mean, they got all these people standing on the bridge, and I'm the one that has to push the button. Right. Right. Ensign Ricky. Uh, Captain, the signal is not coming from the Kittimer's bridge. Captain, the communication is from an emergency medical hologram in one of the Kittimer's medbays. Patching it through now, sir. This is the emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. Oh, no! These Borg are different than the ones in my history record. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. Uh-huh. I've lost contact with the bridge, and main engineering is under assault. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. I don't know how much longer we can hold the ship. You must send help immediately. And we can continue. Yes, yes, yes. I was dropped you. Thank you. Ready for a mission? I sure am. Return to the terminal to take it down to the transporter room. All right, now we got to go to the transporter room. All we got to do is um, find out where that is. Turbo lift somewhere here. Take turbo lift to transporter. Oh. All right, and we start off in the transporter room. We get to interact with this person. It's going to tell me to stand on the pad and interact with it because it's an interactable object. Um, so we'll just go over here. We click the button, and we are going to beam to another place. Away we go. These uh, new loading screens are new also, as of a couple of seasons. like them a lot. Pretty cool. The Borg are attacking the Borg. These Borg, however, are different. These are not the Borg you and I know. Little clue there. Okay, so I'm on the ship. Shippy ship ship. Talk to emergency medical hologram. Help at last. 
I am an, I am an emergency medical, medical hologram, hologram, not, not a, a miracle, miracle worker. worker. Now, if you'll notice, the voice of this, the person who's voicing this is um, Zachary Quinto. You'll know him as Spock in the J.J. Uh, Abrams 2009 Star Trek movie. You'll also know him from Heroes. So, yeah. He I did. need your help, he did, he did the voicing Much us. of the Kittimer's crew was injured in the initial Borg assault. None of the crewmen assisting me have medical training. Maybe you will be more useful. I assume you passed basic medical training at the Academy? Yeah, didn't everybody else here also? Use your tricorder to scan one of the patients. Your data will be uploaded to me automatically. Why do I there have to do this? To Think when about you're it. Done, report back to me. I passed medical, basic medical. Everyone else who's in this room must have too. Alright. So let's scan a person. I like to stand on them and then we'll scan them. Again, if my volume is totally out of whack, I apologize. I'm not sure how this is going to work out yet until I actually stop the video. Not bad, Ensign. You show some talent for medicine. If you work hard and apply yourself, someday you might be almost as skilled as I am. Thank you. Lieutenant, I have 70... Yeah, okay. I also have to keep an eye on the frame rates. Um, I want this video to be smooth for you guys. And I know my frame rates right now are in the lower 20s, so that's not going to be smooth. And I apologize for that. I'm going to have to figure something out and figure out how to make it better. I need a computer upgrade. Yes, that's what I need. Talk to Thales. Thales. Yes. So he's going to have me... <clears throat> Store the Borg patterns in the transporter. And then, uh, I was going to beam them out. Now I have to go rematerialize them over here where they're going to go commit suicide. Yay! Bye bye, Borg! Whee! Alright, now we have to go to this turbo left, I think. Now we get to actually use our weapons for the first time. If you press B, there's a shooter mode, which brings up a, a reticle, and you can move around with your mouse just like a first-person shooter, and you can shoot anywhere, which is cool and fun. Uh, but it also means you can miss. <laughs> and I don't like missing. I actually don't use this mode, although you can if you want. It's there. Just press B to access it. I don't want to. So, <laughs> I'm going to go over here. You're supposed to shoot three of these things, destroy them. And you can see here's other people playing. There's a person right there playing also. And he just took all my things away from me. Yes, I can tell the frame rate's very low, and I apologize. I really do. I'm going to have to fix this in my next video somehow. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure something out. <laughs> the only other way to fix it really is to record at 720p, but I don't want to record that low. Oh, board. Ah, I made that go away. Stop. These Borg, like I said, are really easy to kill because they're different from the other Borg. They're not connected. Here's a secondary fire on it. Whee. Die, you Borg! Let's use my neural blast. I'll show you guys that. Here's a board. Come here, board. Now I gotta go down here and defend from some Borg as well. Yes. Jumpy, jumpy. Now, 
Now there is a accolade here. Well, an accolade in this whole level, basically. There, if you kill a hundred Borg, you get an accolade. You can get it later, of course, because you encounter the Borg later in the game. But it's much later in the game. So if you want that accolade now, you can sit here and literally keep killing Borg until you kill a hundred of them. And you, like right now, if he wants me to go to Commander Davis, I don't have to. I can stay here and keep killing Borg. They keep spawning in, you can keep killing them and get that accolade if you want. Hundred of them. So there's that little bit of info. I'm going to go to um, Commander Davis. Once we get in, out into space, the frame rates won't be so bad. Oops. Oh, he's in the sa he's in the same room. Oh, I'm such a dummy. to have your science attack and engineer lined up in a row right here and now they're all spread out. Well you have to talk to each one of them. These are gonna one of these people is gonna be your bridge officer. Talk to the science officer he's gonna tell science officer he's gonna tell you all about himself. Then you talk to the tack or she's gonna tell you all about herself. And then the engineer and he's gonna tell you all about himself. And then you get to choose one. Remember, I am an engineer. These are your bridge officers. They help you in space and ground and give you your powers in space and ground. I'm going to choose... Wait, what? Why do I only get a tactical officer? Why isn't it letting me choose? It used to let you choose which one you want. Yes, I'll get a tactical officer, so I'll take him. You used to get to choose, do you want a science, tech, or engineer? Maybe it just depends what you're playing now. I don't know. Alright, you can change her uniform, but we can do that later. You can rename her, we'll do that later. Let's just take her. Stand on the transporter pad, let's go to space. I'm gonna beam to my shippy. Shippy, ship, ship. ship. Yes! <clears throat> Tutorial, the price of liberty are complete. Now I have to assist rescue efforts. I have to rescue survivors from damaged ships, beam survivors from USS Kelvin. Okay, uh, get underway, please. Now, flying your ship is really quite easy. And the way I do it is, well, first of all, I'm really tiny. I'm going to zoom in on my ship a little bit. Here's my ship all the way zoomed in. You get to start with this class of ship. Very, very... Blah. But there it is. Zoom out one. There we go. Um, all right, now all these are grayed out until I get a little farther into the tutorial. But uh, these are your shields that are facing your ship. You can click on them and, and switch your shield strength to whatever side you need that's taking damage. This is your crew. I got 200 crew out of 200. My whole repair rate is 60% right now. This 100% represents my whole strength. So, when it gets down to zero, you blow up. Your shields protect you before you get to your hull, but there are weapons that can also re breach the shields. This is your um, power, and what a lot of people don't or seem to uh, not realize that they have is full impulse. Um, you can use, I use E and Q because it's just easier to operate my ship's speed on a keyboard like you're using the WSD keys. You can do it manually and raise this up each level, but that takes too much time. I just use, if I use E, E, it bumps it up there, 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 and there, and that's like my full, like, thruster speed or whatever, full, not full impulse, but kind of, technically I'm going impulse 12.68, but if I want to go full impulse, this is what a lot of people don't know at the beginning of the game, is you click this little button here, BAM! You're in full impulse, and you fly a lot faster. And um, 
you can also slow down while you're at full impulse to turn better. I just use Q twice there to um, uh, level down in my speed, but I'm still at the full impulse speeds with that engage, which allows me to get to where I'm going faster but turn better. And if I hit it full, then I can fly fast. I can go all the way down to one notch and turn really sharply and then, you know, kick it all the way up to the top and go fast. And I can take it out of full impulse and then I'm just in regular speeds. And, uh, and I can do that too. That's a lot slower. Um, it does take away power when you do that and right now it's not showing it because it's all grayed out. But I'll show you that when I get to that. Beam survivors from the Kelvin. Let's see what else? What other ships do I need to do? Uh, not that one. And basically, I'm, to look around on the screen, what I'm doing is I'm holding down my right mouse button, and that lets me move the whole screen around while I can operate my ship with the um, uh, A key and the D key to turn it. Like I can. I can go full and then now I can turn with the A and D and I can go backwards or reverse by hitting Q all the way until this starts flashing and I'm going backwards. Hit it once more and I'm dead stopped. Hit it again and I'm going for, uh, forward one notch. Um, so we'll hit it all the way. Is this uh, Oakland? Here's the Oakland. So we'll go towards it and hit my full impulse and um, get to it a lot faster. Power down, we can hit that. Blah, blah, blah. Now I gotta go to the bore, which is over here. And if you have a ship selected, the camera will rotate around to that ship when you're not looking. So to deselect a ship, just click on the screen. Uh, Montreal. Survivors, okay, this is just, it wants me to go with the Renault, which is over here. Now I'm warping to another area. That whole little part of that tutorial is just to teach you how to move around in the um, in space. It's really quite simple. If you've played any kind of first person shooter game, it's actually kind of simple. Whoa, my frame rate just dived. Dove. Alright, let's go to... Okay, yeah, now we gotta da uh, destroy some damaged pros. And now I have access to some stuff here. And before I do that, let's stop and explain it. I can shoot my beams by hitting this button. I can fire my torps by this button. Or fire all weapons. You can also use the space bar to fire weapons. Um, you can also fire them automatically if you right click. Here's my phaser arrays. This is forward phaser and forward torp and rear phaser. I can set these to automatic by right clicking them and they highlight green. And now all of them will fire when I hit the space bar. And that's what I like. And of course, you can play it differently. But I like to have everything firing at once when I hit the space bar. Um, these are your power levels. This is your weapon power. This is your shield power. This is your engine power, and this is your auxiliary power. These are predefined settings. You've got an attack setting, a defense setting, a speed setting, and balanced. Right now, everything's on balance. See, 51, 51, 51, 51. Uh, you can manually set that by going to three, and you can set each bar yourself, and then save it. Uh, for right now, I'm going to use the attack, which is going to put more power to my weapons. As you'll see, it's going to decrease though my engine speed by quite a bit. And my shield speed or my shield defense stays the same, but my, now my weapon power is 100, and that's going to give me some more power, which is good. Like that, warp ships are getting away from me. So let's go over to them and um, destroy them. I'm just hitting the space bar to fire. I clicked on what I wanted to fire, and now I'm hitting the space bar to fire. I took them out. No problem. This guy should take him out. I've only got to take one out of two, so after this one, I'll, I'll be off to the next area. Now I get to shoot active Borg. Okie dokie. Here I am. Oh, these, uh, those little blue things all around my ship are 
are also my shields. As I take damage, they'll light up. You'll see that when we get into battle here. So we'll go forward. These are other people playing. Like, there's another person. Uh, there's another person in the tutorial. Now that this game's free to play, there's lots of new people, and I love it. We'll get into customizing this stuff later. Right now, the, uh, the power I have is I've only got a, my attack, and he has um, Torp High Yield. <laughs> and. What else does he. What else do I got? That's like it. Personally, I have. Okay, this is just, uh, and you can bring up your uh, inventory and info and all that stuff hitting you, and that brings up everything, brings up all your skills and your ship and your inventory and everything. Now, if I increase the full impulse, you'll see my power levels go down here. So when I get close to these enemies, if I were at full impulse, look. I may get out of full impulse. I may have no shield strength. Well, that's not good. So you may want to wait until your shield strength gets back up a little before you start fighting, or um, s don't get so close to them at full impulse because you don't have any power. I seem to have a problem. Oh, that was really strange. I just had major lag that I cannot figure out what the heck it was. Huh. Well, guys, I don't know what happened there, but I had a major lag. Nothing was happening. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not sure if that was a game or my computer. Let's see if we got... We can uh, rotate my shield frequency over here since I'm losing shield strength. There we go. Now I need to get out of his way. Their explosions will damage my shield, too. As you can see, I've got no heals right now. Anyway, my orders are to beam down to the Vega Colony. I don't know why I'm destroying these probes. I'm supposed to be beaming down anyway. Alright, uh, yes. Beam down. Now, th th when you beam down, you get to select what officers you want to take. I only have one right now, so let's take Takara. Now we're on a planet, Mega Colony. Very first thing you want to do is run over here and talk to this person. I'm going to tell you to go over here and get a kit. Kits are, are where your powers come from, basically. It's going to tell you all about kits, equipping kits, using kits. Um, you get to go over here to this crate that's flashing. Don't forget to do this either. Choose your equipment. And because I'm an engineer, I get to have an engineering kit, that's all I can have. Uh, it is only giving me one, and all I get is the Chronoton Mind Barrier. I can't get anything else, I don't have any options. I used to give you options, and you could get different kinds of kits, or different engineering kits. You get to choose what you wanted, but now it looks like they're locking you into certain things. Um, yeah, Alright, so we're gonna have a Chronoton. I don't really like it, not a good kit, I wouldn't use it, but we're gonna have it. Laser Sniper Rifle, that's good, we'll take that. Now to equip your kit, um, you just hit U, and then now your kit is right here in your inventory. You have to drag it over to your kit area here, and now I'm wearing my kit. And my weapon, this is the new weapon he gave me. I'm going to put it as prime, or up here as primary. And you can see it shows up. I got my two weapons here now. Alright, so. And unholster it. There we go. Now my kit is showing. You can see it on me. You can hide kits easily by right-clicking on the kit and doing disable visuals. And now my kit's no longer showing on me. Um, here's my chronoton mind barrier. Here, I'll set one out right here. There you go. If anyone walks into it, any enemies, they'll explode. All right. I have to rescue colonists. Where's my person? Now, here's my bridge officer, Kara. She's gonna help me. You get three more. Uh, again, I apologize for the frame rate. I didn't know it was gonna be this low. It does suck. He's got that group. I'm not gonna take his group. Whoa, there's some 
lag right there. Did you see that? Hello, lag. Come on, I need a group. Someone else got chroniton mine barriers. basically showing you basic ground combat. It gets a lot more complicated than that. Well, not complicated, just more involved. Ah. into space. Get to warp to some Borg. Get in the Borg. What's up? Borg? I'm here to kill you. What you think about that? Alright, locate Federation beacons. Uh, you'll see them out here. There's one there. They'll flash. You're supposed to go toward them. And then defeat some Borg ships. There's a lot of people by this one. See, all my power went down because I'm at full impulse. Good gosh, I do not like you. And I've got no power, but whatever. Destroy a uh, sphere, which I'm doing now. And now I have to destroy a cube. And that was a drop, by the way. There were drop. There are drops when you kill things, and you can hit we F and select over. and get the cultural. Oh, there's a cube. Oh, I hate this ship. This ship is not the funnest thing to start out with. Okay, but, <laughs> but it's what we got. Oh no, get out of its way, get out of its way. It's gonna blow, it's gonna destroy me. Too bad. Now I've got an incoming message. Those things I just collected, if I hit you, you'll see them now in my inventory. And I, I'll tell you about all that stuff later. Incoming transmission, putting it on screen. Good work, tell me, blah blah blah, you've already proven it. He wants me to be returned to the solar system and meet Admiral Quinn and her space dock. Her space Lieutenant. Now I'm a Lieutenant One. Earth Space Dock is the main social zone in the game. Alright, enter warp. 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 Warpy. Engage. Captain Fett? 
Nazi pants. All right, here we go. Here's the soul system now, and we are... You can see all the other players. Look at all these Mirandas and stuff. Excellent. I will return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is basically where you... Look at all these other ships. This is where you come in when you warp into the soul system. This is Earth space dock here. This is Earth. You are in orbit of the space dock. This is the main social zone. This is where you do everything. Customize your ship, customize your character, all that stuff. Of course, there are other places you can do it too, but this is like the main one. You can also beam down to Starfleet Academy, which it won't let me do yet, I don't think. Um, wants me to dock. Full impulse. It'll stop me. It won't let you go full impulse into the space dock, unfortunately. But I can go ahead and click dock and beam down. See, I can't blame that beam down to Starfleet Academy yet. But anyway, I can beam. I can hit dock. Dock and station. And now we'll be at Earth Space Dock in the future. It's the 25th century. Don't know what that was, but okay. Uh, we've all established I'm crazy by now, so that's good. All right, the transporter room is... Oh, look, it's going to give you a fly around. Oh, this is new. It gives you a little pathy thing that shows you where to go when you beam in. This is brand new. Follow the path. Follow the blue railroad road. Follow the blue railroad road. It shows you exactly where to go to go see Admiral Quinn now. That is cool. See, in the past, it didn't do that. And people would always ask, where is the Admiral's office? How do I find Admiral Quinn? Where's Sulu? That's a little inside joke that um, other people will get. And now it shows you a path, so it doesn't even go away. It's just right there. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, makes it really easy to figure out where to go. And I'm probably, I'm the only one that can see this path. But, look at that. Well, that's easy. They made it real easy. Here's Admiral Quinn. You can jump up on his desk and talk to him. Hello, and welcome, Ensign Ricky. And, um, okay, we'll continue. Now we get to collect my reward for doing all that. Now, I think we already had a, a geranium alloy here. A Mark I uh, geranium alloy. Since I already have one of those, I'm not going to choose that. Uh, I'm firing phasers right now. And I'm probably going to stick with phasers because they're, they're, they're cheap to start off with. So I'm going to get a phaser relay to add to my ship. Collect reward. Ta-da! Battlefield Commission, Lieutenant 1, I gotta skill up and do all my stuff. Tips for new captains, you can read all that, click done. I can do the tutorial, there's a skill, uh, the little tutorial that shows you a skills trainer. I haven't gone through this yet, so I guess we'll do that next time and look at that. Stranded in Space is the first mission that we actually do, and I'll show you guys that. Um, so yeah, this is our space dock, and this is where you start out and start doing all your stuff. And, um, oh, what is this? Oh, it, pff, auto hail. That's right. They've got a new feature in the game now called auto hail, where Starfleet will automatically hail you for new missions that they've got. Uh, I'm not going to accept this yet. I'm going to do it manually and show you guys that. But auto hail will bring this up just like it did. I didn't do anything, and there it is. Bam. I don't necessarily like it as an experienced player because I know what I want to do. But I guess for new players, it could be beneficial if you don't know what to do next. Then it will come up and tell you what to do next. But I'm going to decline it for now. We'll do it manually later. I'll do my skills first and stuff like that. Um, so this is our space dock. In the next video, we're going to show you my the skill setup and how you're going to go do that. We'll do that little skills tutorial because I've never done it before myself. And, um, and I'll show you guys how to customize your ship, your character, and get underway for doing the very first mission. I like to be prepared when I do my first when I do my missions. So I may take one whole video in just customizing everything and showing you what to do. But that's next time in my Let's Play series of Star Trek Online.